To be a regular on a TV show like NCIS means a lot of things. Sure, fans can have dividing opinions about them, but there's a reason they're there every season and episode. And when they aren't, oh boy. That's the case with Nell Jones from NCIS LA, who made her exit in season 12. Fans want her back, y'all. In this video, we'll be telling you all about their call for her comeback and more. First off, the Express Poll Speaks. The media outlet recently ran an exclusive poll recently asking fans which character they want back in the show. And let us tell you, the results are staggering. There were more than 3,000 votes and our girl Nell drew 1,514. Yep, you heard us. We get it. It's difficult seeing your fave leave a show, especially when you've seen them grow and go through so much over the span of not 5, not 10, but 12 seasons. Trust us, we're right there with you. So are 1,500 plus people apparently. 48% of folks want to see the intelligence analyst back on screen this bad. Her role was one that had a lot of people divided because some found her a little annoying. But the numbers are crystal clear, you guys. Express often runs polls like these, and it's a fairly representative one. Up next, a look back at Jones. Like we mentioned, there must be a reason why almost everyone wants her back. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? It might be a long road, but we figure she deserves it. Being a series regular for this long has got to earn you some plus points. She became a beloved member ever since she joined the cast in season 2 and has been super valuable. Come on, your girl's an Ivy League grad and has one of the biggest brains on the show. She can work technology better than anyone else. Though her skills later became a little less useful, she was still a big part of the show, mostly because of her storyline with Eric. Ah, messy co-workers to lovers trope, one that's common, but we eat it up every time. Plus, it's kind of called for with a show like this one. Where else are you going to spice it up if your entire series is based in the same office? Anyway, after Eric left for a top secret mission, we finally realized just how unhappy she was at work. The great thing about about NCIS is that they don't shy away from showing just how negatively a job like this one can impact you. Working in the criminal sector ain't easy. Sometimes it's straight up thankless labor. We really get to see just how it ravaged her from inside. Keep in mind she didn't even know why her boyfriend went off the grid. Her feelings after he left made perfect sense because their relationship took so long to materialize. Coming up, her resignation. Some thought her letter of leave was just uncalled for. Some kind of related. Some understood why she did that. Well, whoever did, our condolences to you guys. Of course, Hetty and Kenzie explained to her why they sent him away, but she found out afterwards. After two whole seasons of back and forth with him, not to mention that secret kiss under the mistletoe at the end of season four. Pair that with all that hard work of an intelligence analyst, and you're putting pressure on a person till they crack. That's exactly what happened to her. She handed in a resignation to the operations manager, who she always had a good relationship with. It's like gifted child burnout. Let's say that. Lang calls her by her first name, which is a big deal. Not only that, but she's even called her dear. It was the cutest thing. Times were so simple back then. She didn't accept her letter and told her to think it over for a few days in return. After that, we didn't really see much of Nell. Actually didn't see her at all in season 11. We guess she really took her time to think it through. And then in season 12, she came back to say her goodbyes. Some fans think it could have been handled better, but oh well. That goodbye was emotional though. Right before she and Beale drive off into the sunset with plans to go to Tokyo, she and Hetty share an intense moment. The tears flow. And now, the possibility of her return. In an interview with TV insider Renee Felice Smith talked at length about her character and that bittersweet goodbye. Filming it with Linda Hunt was amazing for her. She literally said that filming her last scene with the Oscar winner was just surreal. That being said, she has a lot of attachment to her character and it shows. She felt that her departure wasn't uncalled for because she had to make some decisions for herself. Her job was becoming all of her life and she saved herself from losing her whole personality to it. She also doesn't know what the couple is going to look like once they're in Tokyo. There have been ups and downs like in any relationship, but what they do have are the building blocks of a lasting one. It's really sweet to hear her say that for all the shippers out there. Though she knows that this chapter might have ended, that doesn't fully mean it's the end. In the interview, she did mention that there's a door that's always open for Jones if she wants. Right now, she needs to explore out of her nest and make her own name. But if there is ever a point where Scott Gemmell wants her to come back, she's fully on board. Given all the fans wanting her return, this just might happen in the future. We can't really tell how soon, though, because even Renee doesn't know. Gemmell has always confirmed that all the characters that haven't died have room to come back. That's pretty promising, not gonna lie.
online. All we can do is wait for the fateful day to come. Now let's look at what happened to Kenzie on NCIS LA. Firstly, her absence in the recent episode. It's not NCIS LA without the no-nonsense perfectionist, Agent Kenzie Bly. We all know that one person who's just like her, or we are her. Either way, it's always entertaining to see how someone like that contributes to a group dynamic. Where would the team be without her, right folks? Anyway, we were all a little rattled when we didn't see her in the latest episode of season 14. Sure, tuning in every Sunday on CBS after a long day with NCIS is just the best, but where's she? Okay, first let's get to the many issues we gotta face. By that, we mean the personal ones in this most recent episode. Agent Marty Dietz was having a bit of a crisis without his other half. Up next, her absence explained. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. When a seriously ill Marine miraculously recovered before falling ill again and dying, NCIS LA was forced to investigate the threat of a genetic weapon. Yeah, high stakes. It's pretty wild, and we can only wait and see each week. Don't you just love the suspense of TV? Anyway, Deeks had to deal with personal illness as well as the illness of his adopted daughter, Rosa. Normally, he would be accompanied and have the help of his wife and colleague, Kenzie, but she wasn't around. Yep, talk about having your hands tied and being completely alone. She wasn't there at all, which led us all to wonder what's going on. Well, it was explained later on. She said that she was away for training, but what kind of training this would be, we have no idea. To be honest, Marty doesn't seem to know a lot about it either. He wasn't completely alone either. He had the help of his mom, Roberta. It's always good to live a street away from your mother because she sure did help a lot in this scenario. When he didn't know how to treat Rosa, Grandma came to the rescue. Last but not least, her whereabouts in the future. If you were getting excited to see her next Sunday, we're afraid we're gonna have to break some bad news. She's not set to appear in the next episode. Let it burn either. It's sad, we know. They might just reveal a different plot line with this absence, with the way it's longer than we all anticipated. According to the IMDb page, actress Daniela Rua won't be coming back till episode 9. Yes, you heard that right. It's gonna be a few weeks till we see her again, but don't worry, she's gonna come back. What's more is, the show will take its mid-season hiatus after the 8th installment. So yes, there's a lot waiting to do, so strap in. Some fans are a little stressed about what this means for Kenzie, though. NCIS has a pattern of kind of phasing a character out before revealing that they're leaving the show. Moving on, circumstantial changes. Just look at Nell Jones, for example. It's not that big of a possibility, though, because Daniela has been behind the scenes for this season. She's even directed a few episodes. That's all for this video, folks. Do you want to see Nell Jones come back to NCIS LA? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next video.